Good morning from Xi'an. Uh, we, we finally got here about 3 a.m. this morning um, and the room's quite nice. Uh, take a look. So yeah, it, it, it is a nice place to stay. It's the, the Grand Salux Hotel. Um, the, the, it is okay apart from uh, we've got the craziest traffic going on outside our window. Have you? <laughs> that that guy is taking his life into his own hands, carrying that across the street. <laughs> I hope it's valuable. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's absolutely mental outside there. So we've had car horns and everything going off since since six o'clock this morning, which, considering we didn't get in the room till three o'clock, was uh, a bit annoying. And then um, on top of that, what we did have was since eight o'clock, we've had them come ringing the doorbells, banging the doors. Uh, fortunately, we were awake this time, but but still kind of just zonkoed from travelling and the, the chaos yesterday. But the first time, ding dong, ding dong, we keep going across, go over to the door. And she's just stood there with two bananas. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. But uh, then for, ten minutes later, back back having to lie down again, doorbell rings again. Ding dong, ding dong, laundry service. No, thank you. I won't mind, I don't even like bananas. <laughs> So there we go. Right, so plan today, we're going to uh, leave here. We're going to walk up to the bus station and find the bus to the Terracotta Warriors, hopefully. So, um, yep, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we, we made it to the Terracotta Warriors. Uh, we're currently outside pit number one, which uh, apparently is the, the biggest pit on the, the entire site. There's over 6,000 Warriors uh, located there. There's over 2,000 on display, uh, all fully armed. So let's go inside and uh, see what it's all about.
Okay, we've just finished going around the uh, the museum. So initially we did pick number one, uh, which was great. They, they, it was the, the biggest of all the, the pits that they, they have got here. Um, they are still excavating inside pit number one, uh, but, but the pure scale of it is, is enormous. Uh, pits two and three are smaller, uh, and there's still a lot more work going on in, in two and three. Uh, followed by that, we went down into the museum, which, um, which that's got some chariots and, and things like that, uh, some horses except, that they managed to, to dig out. But uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah, it's really good. It was really good. Um, when you do turn up, the, there were guides and that outside trying to, to get you to buy, buy the organised tours. But when you do go inside, they've got placards saying, you know, point number one, and then there's a sign saying what it's all about, uh, for example, explaining about the, the roof collapsing and uh, things like that. So we could go in and kind of get the, the gist of what, what things were all about without the need for, for a guide, particularly as we, we are on a bit of a time constraint uh, as we are flying back out tonight. But um, yeah, brilliant. We really enjoyed it. So uh, uh, back on the bus and back into the city. Right, we just got off the bus back in the city uh, centre. Uh, we're going to try and get onto the, the city wall, now the ancient city wall. Um, we knew it was here before we came, but driving in in the taxi last night was just shocked by how big it seemed. We thought we'd be able to uh, sort of get round it in no time at all. So we're going to head down in that direction because we think that the bell tower is down there. We haven't got a clue whether we need to pay to get on it. Uh, apparently, you can hire bikes and have a, a cycle along it. We don't know. Uh, we don't know what time it closes as well, it's already gone 5 o'clock uh, and it's just starting to rain as well, but we'll go and uh, see if we can get on top. Riding along on my bush bike, honey. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm doing my best. Come on, pedal harder. Go on, pedal. Yeah, we, we managed to go up onto the wall, obviously, as you can see, and uh, and hop on a bike. Uh, when we got to the bike stand, it was about 20 minutes before that one closed. So um, he said, you can hire one, but you've got to cycle all the way around to the south gate. We were coming at the north gate. We said, we, we, we don't want to go that far. And it was either that or nothing. So uh, yeah, we we did it. Uh, but it was all right, wasn't it? It was good fun. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Uh, we only fell off once as well. <laughs> trying to do this, trying, trying to video it. <laughs> Tip number one: <laughs> don't film and cycle at the same time. But uh, yeah, all's good. So uh, yeah, we, we're currently at the the South Tower, uh, which is that building there. We're kind of staying in the north east corner. So we're going to walk back around towards that side probably stop for a bite to eat on the way and then uh, make our way to the hotel pick our bags up before we're uh, back to our favorite place of the world another airport <laughs> Thank you.
hour and a half after dropping the bikes off, we're still not back in the hotel yet. Uh, first of all, we couldn't find our way off the wall, which we did eventually. Now we're stuck in a cab with, with some guy who hasn't got a clue where he's, where he's going. I showed him the address in Chinese. He had to go and get his glasses out the glove box to find out where to even read the address. And we were stupid enough to jump in a, a cab with somebody who's that short-sighted. <laughs> Okay, so another night, uh, another airport, well, same airport as last night. None of the problems we had yesterday, we've all checked in okay, so, well, almost, apart from a few things uh, being taken off here. Yes. But, never mind. Anyway, that's it, through immigration, bye-bye China, and uh, one last toast on the way. Gambay. Gambay. Having this back on Emirates, I tell you. <laughs> Don't get used to this. Well. Right, see you in Kuala Lumpur.